everybody. <laughs> Sorry, we're having some tech issues. Like, I can hear Kat, but she can't hear me. So, we're trying to figure it out. I checked all the mic settings and checked the audio. It says it's working fine. Like, I left, she left. Try to go out and come back in. I take off the stage, put back on, and she can't seem to hear me, which super weird so I don't know what else to do so I think she's trying to restart um, but thanks for everybody who's here so far I had my bro John from cat it's a little unicorn with a fairy hey Sabrina did I hear you hurt your you broke your wrist hey Linda punky Between YouTube and StreamYard, who knows what the issues are? Hey, the baker's daughter. Is it Bridget? I'm so sorry, Sabrina. That's horrible. Hey, Debbie. So, how's everybody's Monday going? Hey, Amanda. It's wearing my Halloween merch. <laughs> it's like the only thing I have with my channel name on it. Hey, A.A. Ron. So I'm just waiting for Kat to come back. This is going to be weird if she can't hear me. Oh, thanks, uh, Amanda. I'm glad. I think you got your fairy lamp all the way to Scotland. Oh, my God. Two feet of snow? No, thank you. Last night it was, like, in the 30s. Right now it's in the 60s. So not bad. I just went out in the t-shirt earlier. <laughs> Hey, bruh, I saw you were chopping down your trees with your new chainsaw. Oh, thanks, Amanda. I was explaining to someone from Fatbird, or not from Fatbirds, but from the chat at Flippin' and Sippin' on Friday what artist trading cards are. Um, so they were interested in doing them, so that'll be fun. And hey, Heather Elizabeth. So, I think everybody here knows what to do. My info is, uh, and Kat's email is, uh, pinned at the top and also in the description box and a link, box and a link to her channel. Please send your info within 48 hours if we don't already have your information. Don't forget to thumbs up, comment after the video, share, subscribe, and all that. And then we have some giveaways, a couple add-on items as well. There's some couple of vintage aprons. I have a silver crest, some amberina glowy vase, uh, another big blue vase. <laughs> Be careful, Amanda. All right, Rick is helping Kat, so, hey Pam, see my, where side is it, my, here's my little, one of my Easter bingo cards, I think the magnet came off, so I just used a fancy little easel on the back and put it up, 
So I put up, I have my St. Patrick's Day card and I got another Easter card and I put them on our big, like, metal back door. So I got all my little Pam bingo cards up. Got some jewelry today. Got a really pretty micro mosaic. If you saw my preview, Let's see. Hey Kim, how are you? And make sure you're subscribed to our sellers in the chat. We got Mr. Chapter Two, so Chapter Two Vintage, and Pamela Blanchard, and Kim at Oh My Vintage. And Heather Antique Agenda, but I'm sure everybody's following each other already. And Sabrina, Simon says, let's make a deal. And right after the sale today at 5 o'clock, Central, 6 p.m. Eastern, I believe Pam is having a sale with Alex Chapter 2. So, you know, we always love those sales when they're together, so make sure to check that out. It's going to be a good time and some good items. Hey Rose. So for my giveaways today, I have these two. Um, one sec, sorry. Nate said he can't find the stream. I have like these little pyrography owl plaques. And. Here's the other one. This one is a little bit darker stain, and then here's this little lighter stain one. And these cute little owls. These are going to be coming for sale later. These flower pens I made. So there's like a little darker green stem, lighter green stem, and different colors. And I have them in my little black flower frog. Because if you watch Cat Sales, she uses a big um, quill pen. And it broke, so I made her... A couple new ones this weekend that went out in the mail and yeah. so I made these couple pens with some like brown um what do you call it floral tape and then I made this little purple one and the camps don't go on like perfectly but because you know you have the wrapping but you can still you know, you just wedge it on. So if you wanted to cover your pen, but you can just stick it into the cup or your flower fork or whatever you use to hold your pens. Thanks, Sabrina and Erin. Just waiting on Kat. If any of you, anybody saw the preview pictures, if there's a certain item that you want to see first, let me know. I'll just put a few up there. <laughs> Thanks, Sabrina. Thanks, Pam. Some vintage, a few vintage Easter uh, greeting cards. And let's see. I need to do some more crafty stuff like Alex and Pam finding the time. <laughs> hey, Erin, at least you were on the time. I can't say. Where you been? 
Yeah, make sure to follow House on Noble if you're not already. It's Chapter 2 second channel. And they post vlogs so you can see what they're Alex and Aaron are out and about doing stuff around the house. Don't have any audio. <laughs> Thanks, Pam. Oh my god, Nate, is it it's too early for you? You gotta get out of bed, get moving. You're just gonna sleep the day away. Hey, Rick. It's not as good as it was when I was younger, but it's okay. <laughs> Wake up, Nader Tater. Kat, do you want me to start? I could start a few things. Because I pulled extra just in case. <sighs> yeah, okay, Nate. See, it goes both ways. I'm not the only one. Nate harasses me just as much as I harass him. All right. Okay. Well, then we'll start. <laughs> All right. Sorry, this chair is squeaky. Okay, again, if you aren't here, these are my two giveaways. These little wooden owl plaques. And I can add, um, I added a hanger on the back for Kat when she got one of these. So I can add it as well if you win this item. And it's the cute little owls. And uh, let's see. What should we do for our first item? I have a couple of these blocked deer. I'm trying to go through my own stuff and get rid of things because too many things. So I have these cute little flocked felted deer. Um this guy, I feel like this, he's a little derpy. Um, their noses have just a little wear where the felting is coming off, but not too bad. And then, um, I don't know if this is like from the process of making them, the production process, there's just a little holes from, and just a little couple scuffs on the legs but pretty great condition and here's the other guy he looks a little more like muscular you see a little bit more detail in him or her and there's the bottom these are let's see whoops this is about six inches tall, and this one is like about five and three quarters inches tall, so just a little bit shorter. And if you're interested in these, these are going to be nine dollars, number twelve. Nine dollars, number twelve. You have your cute little deer up. For your spring displays. Alright, we can pass on the deer for now. I have a scotch tape tin. I know, like, Katie's got the scotch tape display, um, like, the advertising display, and people fill them with all the different types of scotch tape things. So I have this cool tin with a red flannel. 
for your electrical tape. This one doesn't have any tape inside like some of the other ones I've sold. Um, here's the inside. It has a little bit of wear. It is vintage. And I've got the... Here's the back. It's been like wiped down to clean off any kind of surface like gunk on there but you know it just has some wear with age and this guy it's like one inch tall by like three and a half inches and if you're interested in the scotch tape tin that is nine dollars number 16. And you can use it as a riser. Let's see. As a riser. Can you hear me? I have you on my phone. I have the audio on my phone. <laughs> Is it going to echo the whole time? Yep. Yep. <laughs> Be right back. Be right back. So nine dollars number sixteen. If you are rewatching this back and you're interested, you know there's the sticky stuff and dirt and just what have you on the surface. So just wiped it all down. Okay, we'll pass on the Scotch tape tin. And next up, I have this really cool snail um, tape dispenser. I'm just I was trying to look up the maker earlier and just realized there's a sticker right on the book. So there you go. <laughs> I was gonna say it's Counterpoint, a San Francisco made in Japan. Uh, I saw this listed as like 1970s. It's got your holder for your tape because some of these you find they don't have the little holder so and it's got just this cute little pottery speckled pottery and just the bottom no chips or cracks that i can see in pretty excellent condition it is cute i saw one it was the same paint um, glaze job, but it was uh, a bank. So this is a little tape dispenser. So cute on your desk if you have a little um, cottage core, anything like that. Boho would work too. You got, you know, your snails and butterflies and things. Be cute. This is. Going to be sixteen dollars, number thirteen. A cute little snail tape dispenser, and here's the sticker on the back. I see you, Amanda. And it's going to go to Scotland. Okay. Hey, Chad. How have you been? Next up I have this cool pink depression glass platter. It's the Jeanette glass with the cherry blossom pattern. And see the cherries there. I think this would be cool for spring. You know, you could put it out if you're part if you're having like an Easter party or Easter brunch or something, you could put 
your items on it. <laughs> me too, Erin. Or I feel like you could, you know, give me the centerpiece, like the main focal point on a vanity. You could put your jewelry on here or your perfume bottles. But it's just really pretty pattern. It's got those cherry blossom flowers. And then you got the cherries in the center. With like the little kind of ribs going around. And the widest part of this is about 12 and a half inches from handle to handle. Just really pretty. And for this is gonna be twelve dollars number seven. Twelve dollars number seven. Oh, nice, Kim. Yeah, the other... I have another pink depression glass platter, and I believe that one is Adam. It has like a poinsettia in the middle. Oh, no. <laughs> like it won't come back yet? Can you come on on your phone? My next uh, item is going to be a choice. I have for some vintage aprons. And uh, let's see. <laughs> All right. So I'll give Kat a minute and I'll show these aprons. So I have this really pretty bright yellow one. I tried to steam it to get the wrinkles out, but. I didn't want to come out, but it has this cute little cat, little kittens in a basket. The little flowers will be really pretty. Your spring and summer apron. It's got your little pocket there. And it's got the pleats along the waistband here. In good condition. No staining or spotting that I can see. I looked it over. The pattern is not embroidered on here. It's kind of um, like screen printed onto here. There's a little design up front. Little bow in the basket. So there's choice number one. And the the straps are pretty long so I think it would be accommodating to many sizes. Good wrap it around, you know, if you're thinner to the front and tie it off or it just if you have plenty I think it would work. And fun like bright yellow color. And then I have this one that totally screams me but I got and I got these when I was out with Kayla, the eclectic element when we met. I have this 
kind of terry cloth butterfly flower one. And there was a light kind of discoloring under this flower here, but I'm trying to use a Tide pen and then washed it so I don't really think it's noticeable anymore. But so I just washed and dried this today. So it's in clean and it's got your blue and the kind of like chartreuse kind of light neon green and then you got the black kind of waistband strap and these straps are a little bit shorter but still a nice length you can't type amanda <laughs> so choice of the butterfly apron and the yellow apron yep. with your little wow I'm backwards today your little kitty pattern and these are gonna be ten dollars each number four if you are interested in either of the aprons. Nice fun little gift for anyone who maybe likes to bake. You know, just cute little vintage apron. So $10, number four. One sec. Alright. Yes, to hang in your kitchen. I have a couple little wall plaques too for your kitchen later. So. I have this silver crest bowl in excellent condition from Fenton. It's got your clear band here at the top with your white milk glass. And Aaron needs to go to Egypt too. You can bring his camel buddies and doesn't have a mark on the bottom but here's and what I was thinking too for Easter or for spring I have you could put like your little Easter eggs in here and it brings like some really pretty color to the white, the white uh, kind of tie-dye marbled looking Easter eggs. Be a really pretty display for Easter. Or you could put like candy in there, you know, out at a little party or on the side table. Put a candy in there for the holidays. Because this could work with, you know, you can mix it with the reds and greens for Christmas or the reds for Valentine's Day, you know, just a pretty piece. And uh, let's see, where's my s for the silver crest bowl? I'm asking sixteen dollars, number six. And this is sorry, about like three and three quarters inches tall. Yeah, I mean, and you could, you could put fruit in here, a little display, even like your nuts, everyone likes to say. You put your nuts in there with a little scoop, there you go, this really pretty platter. Okay. 
So here's the other bowl I had the Easter eggs in. So I have this green eel brody bowl. And I just have these marbled Easter eggs in them. This is what I'm going to use for package toppers. I have a little candy to put in and add to your package. And let me take these out. And this is from Cleveland, Ohio. Yo Brody Company. That's model number. It's got this kind of fluted out shape with a little scalloped edge. And you get your ribbing towards the bottom, just or you could put your Easter grass and put the eggs in here, or like green Easter grass and put the gold chocolate coins in there for um, St. Patrick's Day for March. Just for so many things. And it's got a wide enough base you could put a um, fake pillar candle in here as well. And you could fill, you know, sometimes they have the um, little gem accent things you can put in like as vase filler you could put around it. And this bowl is about two and no, sorry. This is an odd angle. It's three inches tall. So for this EO Brody Ball bowl, I'm asking nine dollars. And it's number 21. Put their eggs in there. Hey, Karen. Hey, Jessica. Make sure you're subscribed to Karen and Jessica as well. Karen is selling now, and Jessica has sales on it usually on Wednesday nights. I'm trying to like give some time for Cap to come in. these Trafari earrings. These little, I don't even know what to call this shape. Oh, one sec. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. <laughs> I need Yay. to turn up my volume, though. I am so sorry, so sorry everyone. Well, this is Kat. This is Dexter. If you don't know Kat, <laughs> subscribe Calypso Antiques. She has sales multiple times through the week, usually. She sells with Sabrina's on Fridays. She has sales on Thursday nights. And what else? Wednesday, Wednesday. with Sabrina. Sabrina. Five, no, six, no, Eastern. six Eastern. It's amazing, it's amazing how you can how do you that can off do the top of your head. Well. <laughs> Hi, Champ. Hi, I Jessica. Like there's a schedule, but there's a Debbie. lot of things. I am so, I am sorry, so about sorry about this. About it's just completely, it's completely dead. dead. Well, I can switch to you if you're ready. Sure. Sure. We'll have you sell some items and I can just uh let you get a few let you do a bunch. All right. Let me make you big. Oops. I'm echoing, I'm echoing again. again. Uh, that's what Rose that's said. What Rose said. Hi, Rose. Hi Rose. Not on my end, but Okay, you're up on the big screen. Okay. Okay, okay guys, my okay, first, first items, items are so cute. cute. They're in is because they're a pair of shakers. 
they are these amazing Japan anthropomorphic beings. And they're going to start at 12. One of them has its original stopper. The other one does not. There is no damage on them. They're so cute. Hey, Aaron. Good to see you. And Karen. Oh, hi, Karen. Let me measure these cubes. I'm so excited to be selling with Angela. It's been a while, and what happened? This happened. This happened. I know. <laughs> They're three know. inches tall. Everything was fine at my last day, so I don't know what happened. That's weird, because like, I could hear you. I just, she couldn't hear me. Yeah. Yeah. I've restarted. I've restarted. I updated. I updated. It wasn't even it wasn't updating audio, audio, but there was another update, update you know, showing, so I updated it in case it was affecting them. Hey, Alex. Hey, Alex. Pretty lady. So, this is obviously the boy. Sorry, guys. I'm getting used to my phone camera. Here's the girl. There's no damage on either one of them. They're just really, really cute. These were in my collection, but I'm having to purge some of my shakers. I have two. But they're, I guess they're ladybugs, don't you think, Angel? Yeah, they look, I was going to say, some kind of bugs, but they does have little spots on them, so. Yeah. yeah. They look like little Irish ladybugs or something. Hey, Katie. <laughs> Hi, Katie. Hi, Katie. It's like he's got right like a cigar or he's like sticking his tongue out or something. <laughs> okay, I think okay, we're passing, right? right? Right. We can do a recap at the end, too, if we have time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. How many How items many did items you do? Do, you know? do you know? I don't even... Uh... Probably more than five, so you can, well, you do five, and then we'll switch back. Okay. Okay. Um, my um, next my item, this is going to start at 10. This is an arc, an arc elephant. 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 And he is older. He has an arch of his sticker on the ground. Did you say 20? 10. 10. 10, sorry. Am I still, I'm still echoing, echoing, guys? guys? I hope not. I hope not. So this, so this elephant, elephant is super, super, super cute. cute. There's, no, There's damage. no damage. It has my fingerprint all over. Beautiful, Beautiful blue. blue. I do have a light bulb here. Light 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 light. Light. Let me give you an idea there. There's a little, There's a bit, little of bit of bubbling, but it's not but bad. It's not bad. I love the I shape. Love the shape. Okay, so I see, I think Sabrina's first. Is that right? Yeah, I see Sabrina and then okay. Karen just came in at 21. Ooh. And Champ is here too, that little pain. Oh, Champ is, yeah. I'm glad he's here. I saw him say it's very early. Karen, did you mean to put in 21? I just want to make sure it wasn't like a typo. Oh, Sabrina's at 24. Thanks, ladies. I appreciate it. I didn't even measure this guy. He is almost three inches tall, two and three quarter. I love the color. It's so pretty. Okay. Thank you, Karen. Oh, it's good, ladies. Nice. Awesome. Thank you, Debbie. I'm having to look at chat on my laptop. That's why I keep looking over to the side. So, Sabrina's high bit at 24. 
Um, so he's about three inches long too. I didn't tell you that. His ears are really cute. Debbie said no echo now. I was kind of laughing with Rick. I was like, I feel like such a noob. Like I've never had issues like that to that extent. That is. I hope I don't have to get a new laptop. Yeah, maybe it's just something with the stream yard and yeah, the upgrades. Maybe. Because that would be weird. It just went out, you know. Yeah. He's, he's in the other room working, but he was happy to say hi. We can start counting down. I do believe. So I count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. One sec. Thanks so much, ladies. Was it Sabrina? Sabrina for 24. Thank you so much. Okay. And my next item is going to start at 13. It is this Mexican feather art picture. I love this. I love this frame. So I mentioned in a haul video that I get these a lot. Could be because Texas is so close to Mexico. But this is probably my favorite one. I love this frame. There is a little bit of wear up here. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if the paper may be, you know, disintegrated a little bit, but the feather on the birds is perfect. Thanks, Katie. I love it. Karen says she collects those. Oh, cool. I love the I love them too. Here is the back. Sorry if I'm making y'all dizzy. I really got to get used to my phone camera. You're fine. I'm too old to be changing things up. It's 10 and a half inches long and seven inches wide. They're, they're really cool. Well, I think we could count down for Miss Karen. Um, do you want me to count, I guess? Sure. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Thank you, Karen. I'm glad it's going in the collection. Hey, Karen. Karen's going to have all sorts of cool things. Okay, Karen, thank you. All right. Um, my next item, this is going to start at eight. I have this little tin duck. Um, he is, so I researched him and I was reading that he is pre-World War II. There is an old stamp on the bottom. Oh, he starts at eight. And, oh, you got it. Yeah. This takes a while, like. So there's an old made in Japan stamp there on the bottom. Um, he's just super, super cute. He would really be for decor. And I pulled him because I think he'd be cute in Easter decor. Yeah. He is missing. So there normally is like a little wind up um, pull there, but it is missing. But he does still move. Of course, you have to manipulate him, but his little... Um, wings move and you can move his feet and he does stand up on his own i just thought he'd be cute in an easter assemblage and he is three and a half inches tall 
three inches long. So the paint on it is in really good condition too, considering how old it is. Okay, we will pass on the dog. I mean, and if you're crafty, you might be able to figure out how to get a handle, you know, or a mechanism to be able to wind it. Yeah, I was going to mention that too, and I forgot. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if you can see in there, but you could probably reattach. You know, yeah, I would assume. Yeah. yeah. Something. Okay. Then my next item is another item perfect for Easter. This is going to start at 10, and this is a vintage, um, let me make sure I say it right, Takahashi, Japan, pitcher. I love this. I love all the bunnies. I love the, the sponge paint on it. So it is the same on both sides. There's three different bunnies on each side. And then here on the spout, there's another bunny as well. Let me see what it says. Hand painted. So Takahashi um, was an import company out of San Francisco. So they imported a bunch of um, Japanese items. So this is where this is from. And the sticker says Takahashi as well. You know, you could probably use this if you wanted to, but I would probably use it for decor. This is a perfect little spring teapot with the green almost could be like grass, you know, and then the bunnies. Yeah. You're so creative. Um, okay, so four and a half inches tall, about. No damage anywhere. Isn't it cute, Katie? I love it. Hi, Patricia. Hey, Patricia. Okay, well, we'll pass on this one for now. My next item is a brooch. I had to bring brooches because I'm showing with Angela today, or selling. Did anyone watch the Oscars last night? Because there were a lot of brooches on men, especially. No, but I look at the red carpet stuff only, basically. And yeah, look I saw at, lots um, of brooches on the guys. Yes, Robert Downey Jr. and John Krasinski. Yes, um, I loved that one. It was like a big starburst. It was so cool. And then I noticed um, Bradley Cooper's mother was wearing a brooch. It was so cool. Um, uh, sorry, Ange. This one's going to start at 15. This is a Domicene brooch. I love Domicene. I do too. And this one is so pretty. Um, obviously, it's a fan. And it has a trombone clasp on the back. All right. It's really, really pretty. Well, hello, Randy. It's good to see you. Hey, Randy. Thanks for saying I, I look younger. I feel much older today. <laughs> These technical problem. So it is two inches. I pretty much get Domicene whenever I see it. If you know yeah. if it's affordable because I love it too. And hopefully I'm doing it justice here. But the inlay or basically inlay uh, gold or silver metal with black enamel. Look, sorry. I was just reading about them recently, and I think there's two kinds. There's like those kind made in Spain, and then there's um, the kind made in Japan, maybe. The oh. one is more engraved looking, and the one looks more like the enameled. It kind of okay. not as engraved. Oh, I think, oh well then. Learn something new every day when you're a reseller. Yes. Try to get it closer. 
Okay, well, I think we can pass on this for now. I believe that was five, Ange. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. My next item is starting at 25. You and want I me have... to enter it for you? Does that help? I just put it in, but if you could, well, if there's any takers, put the sold. Okay. Uh, I have this Fenton Amberina vase. It's got the hobnail the bottom. It does glow. So you got this little kind of domed pedestal. And then at the top, you got that more orangey red color. And let me, where's my black light? I turn the ring light off. And let's see if I can you see it. It the base That's glows beautiful. really good. Yeah, it's better from underneath. Like, and then it um like kind of right here, almost like where there isn't hobnails. That's hard to, but it kind of glows down there, and then. Up at the top, really good. It glows orange, like the strongest at the top, but it does go down the sides too. Just you can see it going down the sides. Yeah, it's just awkward to show, but yeah, like see so, yeah, right there, but. Really cool, pretty glowing cadmium. And, and no chips, cracks, or flea bites. The hobnails are all good. No, no chipping on those. And this is at the highest point, about 10 and a half inches. Gorgeous. Yeah, just really pretty ruby red. And then the kind of orange. I love the hobnail on the base. Cool. Yeah, I, I don't have any nails, but <laughs> just picture like ASMR, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, yeah, I don't have any. There. <laughs> yeah. But oh, then it's kind of hard to show. Like their stamps aren't real pronounced. I feel like in these, but let's see. Little Fenton down in the center. There. So. And if anyone's watching this back and isn't interested, let me know. This is starting at $25. And let's see any interest so we can pass. That's my personal account. I can't really, my computer is not logged into Calypso now. And we can do like two and switch. So. Okay. Um. I have these set. We'll put starting at $16. And it's a set of three, I think. I don't see probably more acrylic. Or, but these, there's a set of three. These little kind of country oil paintings, acrylic. So one's got a barn, one's a church, and the, well, kind of like a two barns, but. And they're painted, it says L. Kane. Let me just find the best one. This one is like the most pronounced uh, signature. Had the little church scene here. 
Then here's like a little barn. Hey, spirit junkie. Hey, spirit. And then I like this barn. It's more detailed. Trees and little fence line. It's got, you know, it's kind of a you know, like monochromatic browns and creams, kind of neutrals. And, you know, if you have a cabin, I feel like this is a kind of a cool color scheme. You know, or like a woodsy kind of, you know, woodsy kind of themed little brown. It's got these little wooden frames in the back is covered with paper and it says the old barn 19 October 1982 and says country church 1982 oops sorry here so this one just got a little rip in the paper there and there's the back of that one and this one says farmhouse, and they're all painted in October 1982. And they all have their hangers, and like they're all hangers are very secure. But this, is, you know, perfect for a gallery wall. You can you hang them all in a row? Or, you know, mix it in with other, like, landscape type of woodsy paintings. That would be really fun. If you and, don't have a gallery wall, you could start one with those three. Build yeah, around or if you have, like, a, yeah, a shelf and you can mix it up. You um, For variation, you could have these small ones, mix it in with some bigger, larger prints. That way you mm -hmm. kind of have... Your visual interest, and these are about six and a quarter inches wide and five and a quarter tall. And the painting itself is about like four and a quarter by like three and a quarter. All right, bye, Katie. Oh, bye, Katie. Good to see you. Oh, we can pass. I don't see any interest. So, little paintings. Uh oh. So, in the pass. I'll wait just a second to see if Cat comes back. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I keep getting um texts and everything. And it's taking over my phone. Okay, my next item is going to start at 15. Uh, it is this Indiana glass bunny on nest. Uh-oh, one sec. They're obviously great for Easter. I love that it's clear because you can put fairy lights in it. Change uh -oh. the color however you want. It's fantastic. It doesn't have any damage. I'll show you the bottom. Here's the top. Here's the top. It's got this amazing texture to it that really makes it realistic look. Gives it. Oh, I was like, what happened? Sorry, this thing shot me into private chat. Whoops. What? Um, no, I was trying to put in the price and it shot me oh. into private chat. And I was like, where am I? <laughs> it's like, this is not the right screen. Well, this on my phone is like a whole nother world. 
Uh, let, me, let me measure this. That might help some people. It is... Cat's train is coming through. Seven inches long. I know. <laughs> Thomas should be here for the train. Thomas the train. Let me show you this cute bunny face up close. So cute. It is a great size. Let me let me put it on my light base to kind of give you an idea. Clear glass is underrated in my I think it's beautiful. And it's coming back. It is beautiful. I don't know why more people aren't buying it. I know. I saw this gorgeous, um, I don't know, this. I watched George religiously. Um, I watched George religiously like a lot of us do. He keeps saying it's coming back. Okay, so we'll pass on this one. And then my next item is a brass horse. This is going to start at eight dollars. Have to bring brass when I'm selling with Angela too. You said eight. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I have brass. This right is there. solid. Solid brass. It's got a really good weight to it. I love this so much. It has not been polished. Sorry, Nate, but I know so many people like the patina, so. Yeah, keep it all unpolished for Nate. Oh, thank you, Sabrina. Um, he is four inches tall and three inches wide. His tail is so pretty. And here he is from the other side. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and count down from Sabrina. You like the shiny stuff? I do too, Patricia. I like both, actually. Um, okay, I'm going to start the countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. That's awesome, Amanda. Got yeah, my grandmother would pay me to polish her silver. Yeah, I hate um, the smell of brasso. It's pretty strong. Like, I'd rather, like, I've been using, what is it, the Never Doll to clean the other items, uh, my other metal items, and that I can handle with brasso. <laughs> <Ugh. laughs> Thank terrible. you so much, Sabrina. And did we, did you do two last time? Yeah. Okay. Then it's your turn again. All right, I'll show my pens since I have them here. I showed them a picture of the ones I made for you. Oh, I can't wait. So, yeah, I put those out today. So I have two of the yellow flower. Mm. And so there's three that have this darker green kind of stem pen. And then... This is a lighter color, so next to each other. And then I have summer and black. I mean, some people like, you know, prefer black over blue pens. So mm -hmm. there's blue. So I have this pink flower. And then the yellow and the pink are the same kind of flower. And then I have this purple. And it's kind of got a different, like a darker purple and a lighter purple variation. And what's the starting bid on them, Ange? Um, like five dollars. Okay. And then again, I said I have the caps, so of course it doesn't slip on like the regular pen, but like. When I was watching them making ones, they put the cap back on them like how? Because once you have the thing on, it doesn't work. But I just kind of put it on until it's like wedged on there if you want a cap on it. But if you just have it in like a little, you know, pencil cup or whatever at home, 
probably don't need it because it's not like the ink's just running out of it, you know? <laughs> it's like it, it is fit with a gel pen or something. But for a little pen, I have a bunch. I made it for a little cup at work because, you know, or else the pens walk off. So <laughs> we have the little <laughs> pen. So it's just a fun little pen, you know, for spring or like a cute little Easter gift for your kids, you know, just for something fun. Or I saw one when I was looking at how to make them. Um, it said uh, that they did it because they always lose their pen. So it's kind of a way to hear, oh, there my pen is. And then usually I wrap them like this, where the stem is on the side. So you can kind of see it sticks out just a little bit. But I did try this new way where you just pop the end cap off so the kind of flower is glued into the end of the pen. Mm -hmm. I do like better. It's just <laughs> more difficult. <laughs> but um, so this just this one yellow one has the wrapping on this side, but it's still cool. So I have the two pink, two yellow, and two purples. You have you Sabrina in for five. Whether you prefer blue or black ink. They are pretty, Kim. I, I think she did a great job. See, and then you could just, if you had a whole bunch, you just put them in like a little flower pot or a vase and it could look like you have flowers. That's a cute idea. Yeah. Like we have at work, we have them in the little terracotta pot with just those little kind of black glass stones you can put like in fish tanks and stuff. We had coffee beans before, but those kept going all over the place. So see, I have them in the flower frog like this. So you can fill all Ew. your little pens and pencils in there. So. Hi, Linda. Yes. Hey, Thomas. I was oh, yeah, waiting. I was waiting because I got my big old measure. <laughs> Yep. I see you, Sabrina, the only one in, so I could just, I'll just say, five, four, three, two, one, soul. <laughs> so, Sabrina, just let me know which one or ones you'd be interested in. Here's a yellow. I love them in the flower frog. That's really smart. Two purple. Yeah, it works perfect in this black one. They basically go all the way to the bottom. Oh, the little clear one, cool. it's more tapered, so mm -hmm. it's kind of hard for it to sit up on the side ones, but two purple, please. Okay. So I got the purple. Yeah, one is blue and one is black. Thank you. So, and then also, I can do these if you're interested. Uh, like a different cat, I have different like fall colored mum looking flowers or you know if you want a certain flower I can make it for you. I like cats, I did those feathers, you know, and then I just saw some with succulents. So I'm thinking about making Ooh. those if there's I'm very like I'll make it if you can think it up. So if you want something just email me or comment on here and let me know. Oh uh, you know Linda, they're five. Yeah, so five bucks. If you're just put in a five in what color you want if you're interested. <laughs> and I use some with the light green wrapping and some of the dark, but I don't know if that matters. Linda's in at five. What's a triffid? Yay. Congrats, Thomas. I don't think I've seen you to say congrats on your grandchild. Or two, right? Twins? Yes, twins. Hi. Can you say hi to Thomas? Now he's mm -hmm. grumpa. So I have the two pink and two yellow. So let me write Sabrina down. Are you snorting? He's snorting. It doesn't matter. Okay. So you want two pens as well? So is one of each okay? 
And do you prefer blue or black? Or it doesn't matter. Can I show the feathers again? Oh, no, I can't because I'm using my phone. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, I can show it. Hold on. I just wanted to tell everybody I'm really excited. Because Cat has the black quill one, but it broke. Yep. So I found these feathers, so I made these two pens for her. They're so cool. Which didn't think ahead of time how long the feathers were and how I was going to mail those. So that was interesting. <laughs> I'm sorry. But, I didn't even think about no, that. I, I was just like, okay, what, you know, I'm so used to the smaller ones. I'm like, oh, well, this will, this will be interesting. <laughs> so I laid them like feather down so that way it kind of like curves and the pen is like facing towards the top of the box when you get it. Okay. So Linda, you said doesn't matter. All right. So I do one of each. One each. Okay. Thank you. And then so I was showing before I have these Trafari earrings. Ooh. And it has this little I don't even know what you, it's kind of almost curved. I don't know if this shape has a name. But it's got this little kind of curved shape of this gold mounting. And at the top and bottom, it kind of has a little extra kind of V detail accent. And then the back has their post earrings, has little gold tone posts. Uh, what was the starting bid, Ange? I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Uh, $10. Okay. And then, let me see. Annette! Hi. Hi, Annette. Okay. <laughs> see if I can show you. There's a Jafari mark on the back of the earring. In excellent condition. And a little gold tone back. And these are about just over a half an inch big. Right. Take out my hoops. So this is what I'm Hold on, I'm going to put it in so it doesn't fall out because of my gauge ears, you know. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have a lot of stability. Okay. So, you have this cute little gold tone. Super pretty. Yeah, so you could wear see with jeans, you know, and your, like, simple white t-shirt with your, you know, different uh, jewelry accents. And then you could dress it up. You know, with necklaces for like a nicer night out dinner. These little, see, little earrings. Hey, Rachel. Hi, Rachel. Why is it drifted? I'm like out of the loop here. So, let me put them back. Okay, Rachel, how's work? Rachel's going to be hosting a, like, drop sale hop type thing in April. I think it was. Stay tuned for that. Make sure you follow Rachel. She posts, I think, Shop With Me videos on her channel as well. So these pretty Trafari earrings. You know, people give gifts for Easter, right? Little Easter basket thing. I mean, and they're nice enough, but, you know, not a diamond, I'm sure. So, you know, you could give them to your granddaughter and, you know, you don't have to worry in case they misplaced and that it's like $1,000, you know. <laughs> they but are pretty. Really pretty. 
<laughs> or if you just have like displays, you know, little things like people put on like those push ping type of boards with the fabric and they put a little jewelry on it. Be pretty. I don't want to say jewelry tree because these <laughs> are still wearable, good condition. But we can pass. I don't see any interest. Look look at me. I'm frozen. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And, of course, it's not a good look. <laughs> Landon's not worse. Hold I, on. If, if you're... One sec. Let me... I'm going to remove you from the screen and then try to bring you back in. Oh, no. Well, this is just being difficult today. Oh. I don't bring me it. back because I don't know. Hang on. Oh. Oh, okay, Patricia. Oh, she, I think she went out to come back in again. Um, okay, I get it. The Little Shop of Horrors. I love that movie. Oops. Backwards. I don't even know what we are on. Okay. Oh, I think that was my second item. So, I'm just waiting for Kat. I have some vintage uh, Easter cards for sale, so I'll just give you a peek at those. I have this Norcross card. It says, Happy Easter Mother. And... I've never seen a card that has multiple pages. So this one says, Mother, you rate a Paris hat and a mink of one kind or another, plus a royal coach for the Easter parade, because you're really a queen of a mother. <laughs> Phrasing kind of weird, but the picture illustrations are really pretty. And so it's got the little chick, and I think that's her little Paris hat. She's got a little purse. And then here's the inside spread of this page. It's got a butterfly pulling like a little egg coach. Hi. I'm not frozen, right? No. Yay. Just showing these cards, and then, and this is like really good, excellent. Sorry, wow, excellent condition. There's little chicks, and then the next page is because you're really the queen of a mother. And there's the coach up front with little chicks, and it says lots of love and a happy, happy Easter, and then love. Something Lee and Sharon Lee. I want to say Dennis, but it, it's like D E N. And then it looks like R U R, Dunner. I don't know. Or Den Denier. Mm -hmm. But see, it's like it's dinner. I don't know. Denver Lee and Sharon Lee. Oh. Okay. See, I'm not reading prescriptions, so usually I'm trying to decipher, but. My, well, you're, what is this? you're so young, you don't know how to read cursive, right? <laughs> I read cursive because of the pharmacy. Well, I mean, yeah, I read cursive. There's my co worker does not know cursive. Oh, really? He, because he was younger, he's younger and it's like early 20s. And so 
So yes, this has like three different like folds, you know, pages. So cute. What was the bid on this one, Ian? So this one is going to start at five. Okay. And, oh, sorry. Let me show you the back. Here's, it says, no, and by Norcross, of course. <laughs> I love that. And then it's got the little numbers in the corner. It says New York. And I just... You know, because some stuff is hard to find not torn or discolored or spotted just from, you know, time. And these illustrations are really colorful and pretty. Mm -hmm. Silver display. And you can, where you can give it to your mother. And then, like, just, you know, you could add a little thing over it so you can, you know, write your own note to your mother. And put it in there. Like I got a, a vintage one. I gave it to my grandma. My grandma's like, this is used before. I was like, yes. I told her it was vintage. But I put, I think I put like a slip in there or something. Yeah. with my own note. But I was like, yeah. I just thought it would be like a, you know, cool keepsake too. Because it was in good condition. So, the three page Easter card. I mean, and even... I'm not saying cut this up, but you're a fair crafter. You could scan it in, you know, and you could use these little images of, you know, you could cut it out. You could scan it. I mean, scan it, and then you could cut out the bird and use for different things for your junk journaling and collage books and stuff. Or, um, like Alex does the different stuff with the stamping. You cut this out and use this on something. Mm-hmm. After you scan it in, don't cut the card, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then you can leave the starting bit up there. Okay. Or I have this lot of two cards, which will start at five. Uh, this one is Gibson. And then this one is Rust Craft. So I had to get this, of course, because it has a little mushroom. It says Happy Easter, and there's a little girl with a mushroom and the little chicks. Just super cute. And it kind of looks like little lilies of the valley in the front and then the back. That's a little blue flower. So cute. And then this one's unused, and it does have a little bit of yellowing. Um, to the pages, but not like so prominent where you're like, that's a stain. But it says, with lots of happy Easter, with lots of good wishes. Just has some kind of like a little creasing here on this side. But the little girl from the back, little mushroom and chicks. See, you can kind of see just like uh, around here. It's like brighter in the center, which is weird. So I don't know if they had something sitting in here. And then just a little yellowish, but still unused. And then on the back, there's just a little mark there for the little chicks with the lilies of the valley. Love it. Gibson card. And then this one is have a happy Easter birthday. But it, like, how cute is this bunny? And it has this little hat as the basket and little purple flowers. And it's got this kind of cut edge. And then here's the inside. This one has been used. It says to wish you have a happy Easter birthday. On this side here, it says to wish you a happy Easter. And then on the opposite, it says it's a double treat remembering you as Easter time appears and wishing you more birthday joy than you've enjoyed in years. And it's signed Marianne 1956. I was going to say, yeah, I think these are 50s. Well, that's super cute. It is. You scan that in. And this too. And if you're crafting the computer, you could, you know, scan this in and then uh, color this out and put your own you know, text in there and make your own cards and things, graphics. 
This super cute little fuzzy bunny. I mean, that's so cute. Are you bidding? Mm-hmm. Okay. Are you, are you kidding? The mushroom. I know. It's so cute. So, you get a lot of the two cards for, for starting at five. And this little, sh the mushroom one, that one's about four and three quarters inches tall. So, it's just a little bit smaller. And then the other one's five inches tall. But super cute. You put in your flower frogs, this, the metal ones for display. Like, let's see. I have one here. So, if you had the little spiky flower frogs, you could put it up for display for Easter and spring. Let's see. And you could put your different, like, ephemera in here. You could display little cards and things. And then I also have, like, brooches sticking in them. Like, I have, I had a flower brooch. and fell off. Oh, see, I have this one. I got in a lot of some things, so you could put this little flower, see, this little flower brooch. You see, you can make a little ephemera display. So cute like that, and. So we'll count it down for cat. We'll see. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Thank you. Thank you. That mushroom got me. Two. So cute. Okay, cat. Okay. And let me switch you back. Okay. Nate got a topaz as well as a garnet. Wow. What the what? Thomas, I wish he was in charge. This is not moving over. Great. <laughs> You know, it's like a typical Monday. I know. <laughs> like, geez. Um, these are going to start at 14. These are um, DeGrazia bookends. They're wood and ceramic. <coughs> Whoops. And they're so cute. Um, you do have the DeGrazia signature here. I love these. I love yeah, I think a lot of people do. It's still very, very popular. So they are hand painted, so they're a little bit different. Not much, but a little bit. I think these are so cute for spring and for Easter with the flower here. the other one so the wood is in very good condition as well see that there's yeah there's nothing on the bottom here's the bottom they are six and a half inches tall They're about five inches wide This would look really cute in your Easter display as well. You could put little Easter books in here. Super, super cute. I 
Okay, well, I think we're going to pass on these two. Like Anne said, if, we're, if you're watching on replay and you see something you're interested in, you can always reach out to us. Okay, next up I have a little jam jar. This is going to start at 10, Andrea. It is porcelain. It's this adorable Easter jam jar. This came from Lord and Taylor. Who remembers that store? Yep. Excellent condition on this. It is vintage, uh, made in Japan. I just think the bunny is so sweet. This face, it's precious. And it does come with a little knife. It has a little bit of like a basket weave design on the knife. So, so cute. And there is a slot here in the back to hang it. And it is marked Lord and Taylor as well in stainless steel Japan. Do people use jam jars? I don't think I ever have. Have you, Ange? No, I'm just the clear glass that they come in. <laughs> right. <laughs> we need to bring that back because that'd be, I feel like that's the one you have is totally cottage core type. You know, the, all the influencer girlies that are out there now. You know, be something yeah. cute to bring back, you know, just kind of aesthetic. Right. You put your things in there or, you know, jelly or, oh, that's a lot of honey, but, you know, oh, yeah. whatever. You could use a friend and kind of, like, spread or whatever to put in there for a party, at least, would be fun. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, I don't see any interest in the bunny jam jar. So, that was my second, and Okay. Thanks for looking, everyone. My next item is starting at um, twenty thousand. Okay. Hey Rose. Oh, Christy here. This is starting at eighteen or what did I say? Twenty dollars. Twenty dollars, sorry. Twenty. I have this micro mosaic made in Italy and the pieces are really small in there, which usually is said that means it's older, um, the smaller the pieces are. So the pieces like in between the little rounded parts are so little and tiny. You got the flowers in the middle. Then you got the ring and then the little kind of scallop shape around the outside. And then it's got kind of a blue and white uh, kind of filled in between the scallops. But you got this light blue and red um, scallop shapes. And then there's green and yellow in the center. And then there's like a light purpley pink in the shade for the flowers. And it's just like a little round, like coin shape. And mm hmm, Christy, are you sleeping? Hi, Christy. <laughs> it's a little over an inch. And then the back looks really cool as well. Um, let me see. How can I show this? Let me see if I can show you first on here. The back is kind of filigreed. You Sorry. see in the light. And then let me try to hold it up. It has just kind of like this safety pin kind of looking clasp where you just kind of um, push it under. The little holder but here's the back 
See, it's got all this like kind of little embossed looking back. And then, can't tell. One sec. Yeah, right in the center. I believe it says Italy. But I, I can't tell which way. But I think that's what it says right in the center. Little circular shape. It's just, but gorgeous little micro mosaic. Um, I think with like a brass kind of bag. Hey, Kelly. But so pretty. You have a bid. Did you know that? No. I can't so see yeah. it. Oh, there it is. Awesome. Thanks, Sabrina. I have two micro mosaic clip on earrings from Sabrina. <laughs> They're like a uh, gray tone, actually, with some flowers in the center. I need to wear those. I'm going to put them like on a sweater so you can wear them like a clip on either side or something because. Mm -hmm. They were clip on earrings, but I had to get them because they're micro mosaic. So we can count it down yeah. for Sabrina 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Congratulations, Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina. Oh. Now, sis, Kelly Blanchard. <laughs> okay, and then next up, I have this awesome looking vase. Um, and this started at $18. Out of my own collection. I put it with my swung vases, but I feel like it's swung and then pulled uh, mm -hmm. on the ends. Yeah, like I'm trying to get away from the blue that I'm wearing, but that's super cool. So the top has these little kind of prong shape, but I said pull because, like, um, I think you can see, let me see. There's like little tool marks, I think, where they kind of pulled this mm -hmm. part up on the swung. So it's not just rounded. So you get that. And then it has this twist to it on the outside. And it gets bigger as it goes down. And then it has like this almost hourglass type bottom into this little twisted shape. I have had this a while and I haven't been able to find a maker on it. Um, it's got little kind of bubbles in the glass going up. Uh, you can see just little itty bitty bubbles. And then someone has belting on the bottom so it doesn't scratch the surface. And I just washed it out today because it was kind of dusty right at the bottom of the center. I'm like, how are you supposed to clean this out? Hey, Gabby. Then I rinsed it out, and then I couldn't get the water out, and I'm like, geez. So, it was a whole thing. <laughs> but now it's cleaned out, and this, I have to use the big stick for this one. Sabrina's in at 18. Thank you, Sabrina. I don't know if I said, hey, Gabby, but hey, Gabby. Uh, this Gabby. one. Like 15 and a half inches tall. So nice size. It's really pretty blue color. And it's pretty true on the camera to the color it is. They got this little twist. And then you got this up front. So whether you just use it for display or you can put like some super tall dried florals kind of hanging out everyone has those like pompous grass for a while you could put something like a big 
dried kind of thing sticking out of it. And it's a nice, like, um, sturdy base to put that in. Put this on the display table. Dexter, you say hi to Gabby. You say hi to Gabby. She loves you. I can't believe you're selling that, Angela. I know. But I picked up some vases, like the Anne Maria vase and this one, and then I have another blue one. I'm trying to pick some things out. Trying to condense some things. <laughs> Picked out the couple deer. I have another, I have a lot of three deer coming next. And just trying, there's too many things. Because then I'm gifted stuff. And it's like, well, I'm running out. I don't have any room. So <laughs> I try to condense down in case I ever, like, you know, want to run away. So, yes. Is your girlfriend here? Mm -hmm. So we can count it down for Sabrina. And we'll say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and sold. Congratulations, Sabrina. Thank you, Sabrina. He loves you too, Gabby. You do, don't you? Mm -hmm. And as soon as this will put cat up there, we'll go to her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's been a day. My gosh, what the what? <laughs> okay, let's try to do this. Okay. okay. Rose, I saw what you said. Uh oh. I'm sorry. <sighs> I thought that one, you know, like leave you big, but I'm you small. Okay, now I think it's doing something. Okay. This is going to start at $8. Um, this is actually Polish glass. This is gorgeous amethyst base. There's no damage. Got a very smooth pontal here. I just love it. This one is four and a half inches tall. I'm sorry, what was the price? Oh, eight. Thing kicked me out again. Okay. Hey, Hi, Snowberry. Hi, Snowberry. Um, so I, I saw what Rose said. So, Rose, I saw them in 2000 and the re at the Borgata in Atlantic City. I think Ooh. she knows my t-shirt. I love this. I collect amethyst glass, but like Angela, I'm running out of room. Oh, cool, Rose. Very cool. I've seen them like 50 times, <laughs> but I've seen them in New York a few times. Uh, this is a beautiful color for spring for your Easter display. Oh, thank you, Karen. I love how it's bulbous and it's probably hard to tell, but it almost has an ombre look to it. It's a little bit lighter um, up top and then it gets darker towards the bottom. Me too, Rose. Stevie and Billy Joel played on Saturday night here. But I did not go. It was like a huge stadium show. And it's the first time I've ever missed Stevie in Dallas since I was like 16. But... I'm, I'm sure you guys can imagine the tickets were hundreds. Hundreds. 
Okay, well, I think we can count down for Miss Karen. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Thanks, Karen. I appreciate you very much. And I know you wanted to be done in time for Pam and um, Alex and Aaron. Do you still want to do that? <laughs> I'm trying, but. No, I just, I feel bad because it's my fault that oh, we're not. Oh, no, like things happen. Oh, my gosh. Was that your first or second? First. Okay. Sorry. Uh, my next piece is this um, signed piece of uh, studio pottery. This starts at 14. This is so pretty. Um, you've got like these really muted colors, which I love. There's some grays and blues and browns in here, on here. Um, it is signed by the artist here on the bottom. I can find this exact artist. But it's from 96. Hmm. I just love it. Kind of a similar shape to the base that Karen just got. Um, so this is four and a half inches tall. I love these colors. And it does have little. Well, it's just one little foot, actually. Like right here. I don't know if it's a piece of ceramic that they didn't um, take off, but it kind of helps it balance some, um, which is cool. You know what would look really good in here? A feather a pen. One that's not broken. <laughs> Soon. I know. Yeah. I'm trying to think of more words to describe this, and words are hard right now. But it's got this beautiful speckling, beautiful colors. I just love it. So Linda, looks like Rain, R-A-I-N is the artist, but we can pass on this one and go back to Ange. Maybe. I know. <laughs> is it possible all this is a stream yard problem? No, it's not. Because none of my audio is working, so yeah, never mind. Technology. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, my next item starts at 15. And it's a lot of three deer. So, I'm just... It's funny that Gabby's here, because it's like the river. Thames, is that how you say that? Mm hmm And it's... Made in Japan, hand painted. So you have these. And this is out of my own collection. Oh my I believe I originally got these on eBay when I saw someone was selling them. And when I saw these big ear deer, I was like, I need to have some. So there's this is the biggest one. It's like this is how big it is. It's about this big. Throwback to cat. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got little pink rose on the front. He's got little gold accents and little spots on the back. And then he's got the gold accent on the inside of the ears and the nose. And they're kind of derpy looking. Like trying to look at the end of their nose or something. And then here's and they all I believe yeah all of them have their stickers. And Here's the, here's a little one. Let me see. Here's the two smaller ones, and yeah, they're the other, same size. 
And their roses are intact. Uh, so this one is not chipped off, but it looks like when they're making it, it kind of folded over, but they glaze over it. So it's just kind of, this one isn't chipped off. It's kind of like, it's just folded kind of under. So it looks a little bit short, but... Um, and then this guy has just a little, he's got some wear on his nose there. Go ahead. I love their big ears. So you get these two guys. These two smaller guys. And then this big guy. So cute. So. And a fun little white and gold kind of. There's spring, summery, just light pastel kind of colors. So the biggest one is this about four inches tall. My base is yeah, a little or four inches wide. And then it's just ears are like five inches across. <laughs> That's the widest part. And then these little guys are about three inches long. With so your three and a half. I can't believe nobody's jumping on these. I know, see, I try to finally part with some deer and then <laughs> they're just gonna have to stay, I guess. Maybe that's it. Maybe they feel guilty and they want you to have them. I have so many deer. And up on that shelf there, I have a bunch of gifted deer. Just got a new one from Katie. Let's see. I don't know if you can see it. Like, there's like a really tall, long legged deer there. I just got. So, I have lots of deer. There's one down here, too. Fine, I'll keep the deer for now. And then this for Thomas. Yeah. We'll say starting at 12 on this little bird box. And it's got this little lace ruffle on it. And it's got a little felted bottom so it doesn't scratch. And then it is felted on the inside. So it's got this hand-painted bird on here on a branch. It's like a little fat bird, you know. Hand is blue. But I filled it with, I got this whole lot of, like, vintage trim and lace. So it's full with these pieces. So I have, this is more modern. I have this little colored rickrack. There's some lilac, kind of lavender purple, and this green. And then I have, I threw in some colors so that way it's not just all the white, but there's this black kind of elastic trim detailing. So I put some of that in there, a roll of that, and then I have this kind of darker blue lace detailing so if you do junk journals or or sewing obviously but just little crafting things you can add them to frames and stuff for old photos and then it's got this kind of little laced edge detailing of this big piece and and I have this little edge detailing. And then there's just some little applique parts. And there's like a little flower. So you can add accents onto things that you're making. Here's like a little nice piece. Then I try to roll 
so I'll move it up. Here's like a little bit different shape, and this is a thicker roll. And I have... Okay, I don't know what this is. Oh, wait, this is the elastic one. It has a little bit of an elastic. It's got this, you know, little... You can make a collar, like a little skirt out of it for a doll. And then this thing, I wasn't sure. You can tell it was sewn to fit on top of something. But the shape, I'm just I'm guessing it went flat like this. But see, it's got like things. Because you know people made like tissue box covers and stuff. But I can't imagine what it went on. So I think it sits flat like this, but it's got the sections kind of, the opening is on one side and two openings are on the other side. Hmm. But I thought like, hey, maybe someone knows what this is or could use it. Not me, but I like your idea for a little skirt for a doll. But it is, I have another one in mm -hmm. the back. So if you know what it is, you're welcome to the other one. And then I have this whole section of this little eyelet lace. And there's like, there was some bibs, like old vintage, like um, collar and bib pieces, but those were kind of stained. So I tried to oxy clean mm -hmm. them today mm -hmm. and some got lighter, some didn't. So I'll, I was going to bring those at a different time because they're drying. And then I have this piece of this little lace edge detailing. So you get all of that. Great deal. Inside. The pretty little bear box, and you could take this out and use it, you know, uh, use the box or whatever your little sewing notions. You could put your needles and little spools of thread in there that we could kind of carry it with you if you were trying to move to a different room and work on it. Just have a cute little box, or you can keep, you know, whatever you want in there after you get it. But Amanda said that's a British robin, a British robin. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, I love the Brits. You know? <laughs> and Thomas is ordering dinner. I think we need to uh, get food, too. Yeah, I will be after this. All right. So, no one is interested. We can pass. All of a sudden, I'm big. Okay. Cute, kitschy alert. Um, this little guy is going to start at 10. He is a squirrel, maestro. He's leading an orchestra or a band. He has this amazing um, red or dark pink colored hair. He is, I'm sure most of us know, Japan. He is so, so cute. I just love this hair. And he's kind of big. He's not a small figurine. He's four, well, if you count his hair, he's almost six inches tall. And this little red mohawk here. I'm sorry, did you say a starting price? 10. I was distracted. I could have done it too. I'm sorry. He's so cute. This was also in my personal collection. I'm purging some of my figurines because I have so many I can't display them all. Oh. Hi, Connie. Hey, Connie. Is she not the cutest? How are you, Connie? Karen? That's a good question. All over.
some of it, like I said, I've had for myself for quite a while. Okay, I'm going to count down for Miss Connie. Uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you, Connie. Karen, I think we have the same taste, though, because you seem to like what I really like. Thanks, Connie. I'm glad you made it. Okay, so this is really interesting. This is going to start at 12. And um, this is an antique bottle. It's Dr. Kilmer's Swamp Root, and it cures your kidney, your liver, your bladder. But, I mean, I love the bottle, but I got it because it is hand-painted here. Somebody, you know, decided to paint on this bottle, and I love it. Super cute for spring and Easter, um, or if you collect old bottles. There is no damage on the bottle. It is it is dirty, though, and I left it that way because I think people like it this way. Um, I couldn't read it when I was doing my haul video, and I still can't read it. Kidney, liver, and bladder cure. I don't know what swamp root is. Do you, Ange? <laughs> no, but when you showed that, I was like, I love that. Isn't it cool? I like oh. the back. Yeah, I like that side. I just yeah. ugh, I have so many drug type bottles. I was like, I need to just collect <laughs> the ones that maybe have the embossing, like how that has the letters on it, rather mm -hmm. than plain, like old crusty bottles. But I love that. I have so many. I do too. Connie said she likes it dirty. Me too. Me too. <laughs> I got one. I got a bottle from Rebecca, Mama's Treasures. I was like, can you leave the liquid in? Because I like how disgusting it looks. Well, like I how do. It looks. <laughs> like, I'm surprised there's in the liquid glows. So I was like, mm, maybe. What? Like, yeah. I was like, maybe no. it's pretty I don't know. <laughs> That's cool. So this is eight inches tall. But look, they did a really good job doing that. I mean, much better than, than I could do. He said it's from your drugstore. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> but I guess swamp root is like a root that grows in the swamp. Right? Back in the day, they used all kinds of crazy stuff. Mm. It's true. Okay, that was my second, Ange. Okay. I'm showing most of my things. So this is gonna be my last round, and then I have the add-ons and the giveaways and stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. And just starting. This one started like eight dollars. I have these burwood little hanging baskets for your wall. Here's the bag. It has this little burwood and it's maker's mark. There's Roman numerals, but it's got these strawberries and these blackberries. They look dusty, but I like to scrub these things with a toothbrush. Like, that's just <laughs> how they look. <laughs> so it's got, you know, this, this little curved style basket. Reminds me of like those old Victorian baskets, you know. And it's got the strawberries. So I was just thinking of D. You now she used to have all the fruit. Type yes. Stuff on the wall. So anyone who has like a primitive type kitchen, you know, you have the old like, chicken wire and the old advertising and egg signs and stuff. I thought this would be good with that kind of style too. You could put these up with a little fruit and like grocery and dairy signs and like old advertising things. I think would be cool. Okay. They're plastic, made in USA. And it looks like it was like paint 
residue on the back. I don't know if someone like tried to darken these up. If they were more like lighter, like this color, maybe. But maybe. I was like, maybe they just put like a little thin, like brown layer on top to make it just a little bit darker. Because I can picture that lighter, like yellowy plastic color. But for cute strawberries and blackberries. And these are about five and a quarter inches tall. Here's the new bathroom. People have like sometimes the old like nineties borders for their wallpaper and stuff. Just cute little baskets to hang or in your craft room if you have one. But if there's no interest in these, we can pass. And then I forgot what I was going to One sec. Oh, yeah, Amanda's right. Older lacquer does go dark over time. Yeah, I'm gonna do this enameled Otagiri photo album. And Maybe. Uh, irises, I think, on the front. And so, I'm trying to think. I, yeah, this is got your enameled flowers on the front with a little gold. Accented, accented detailing on the edge of the flowers and it's like a hard metal cover and then the back says like the lacquerware in, uh, cleaning instructions and it's Otagiri and oh yeah it's called Iris Rhapsody so Otagiri Japan here's the back I have that on a vase on a vase? Mm -hmm. thanks um, this is going to start at, start at $9. So the inside has this kind of brown faux leather binding. It's got these little screws to keep the pages in. And the inside cover has got this kind of um, textured kind of like feather paper. You can see the detailing. And then this side, I don't know if someone was intending to do something, but there's like three whole bunch on here, or two, two punch. And so it's got your photo pages, and they also fold out. So you got your page like this, and then you got double front and back pages. And then, so... They all have this. So there's like one, two, three, four, so six. And then you're getting like this whole. So four, you could fit eight, eight times six, whatever that is. I can't think. Oh. And then the back has that kind of embossed paper on the back cover as well. And the pages aren't um, the slots aren't exactly four by six. They are, let's see, about five and a half by like three and a quarter. So I was thinking you can either, if you have the smaller vintage photos, obviously those will fit in here because those are smaller, or if you have smaller vintage ephemera, this could be a kind of a way to keep track of it, keep them in here. Like vintage, you know, postcards. Um, so little, any small vintage ephemera things. You could even put like little pins. If you collect those or little, just anything kind of small and like flatter that's not too thick. I feel like you could 
you know, keep it in here, kind of a way of keeping it in one place and not losing it, you know, just little vintage ephemera pieces. Like, I just got these little red cross pins from Trusty Huckster. Mm -hmm. And, like, that would fit in there. Things like that. Or if you make crafts, like little paper crafts, those little artist trading cards and things, you can put those in here as well. And That's this good. is about Thomas. About eight inches tall by a little over seven inches. So like eight by seven. Thanks, Amanda. Amanda said that irises are good for mental health. Well, great. I should get a whole bunch. <laughs> Me too. Oh, okay, I quit. I'm just going to do my couple add-ons. Okay. So I have... These earrings are little like, faux suede, little drop earrings. These are in this kind of gray, silvery color. So they kind of look, I'm trying to show, they do look kind of iridescent. And they're main. this one is by Flatland Style. I try to look them up because it has this website on the back, but I don't think that's that's not active any longer. Um, so it must have been like just a temporary older um, mm -hmm. brand. And so these be like three dollars. What three dollars? Uh, the gray. If you're interested in these, little super lightweight mm -hmm. drop earring. It's a little hook. And then it's got the little rubber stopper on the back to help it, you know, stay on the card, but plus from falling out of your ear. And the back is just a little bit lighter color. If you're interested in these, but gray for $3. And then I have... And another. should we explain? Does everyone know how add-ons work? Um, oh, yeah. Sorry. That's okay. And I don't know like, if you've purchased already... Um, this is like a way to add the, the item and it's at a cheaper cost. And if you haven't claimed, um, you're still interested, let me know. And then we could, you know, come up with a price, but these would be $3 for anyone who's purchased as already. And these are a green like, drop earring as well. And really pretty emerald green, and these are by Nickel and Suede. And it says, tag us on social media, but someone had gifted me these. Um, it even has care instructions, and these are leather. So this is the inside, the other side of that. And cool. Yeah, this says emerald suede on the back of this. And these got little gold tone um, little hoop or er, hooks. So it'd be three. You put green if you're interested. And then I have this little Fenton hand painted vase. The reason I have it in here is. The add-ons, it was cracked and I didn't know. So it's been glued oh, back nice. together. But when you're when like when you're standing up and you have another thing, you can't really see underneath there. Right. And then the, I think it had like a piece, maybe a flower was attached before. So I just got the rest of that off mm -hmm. and I have this flower decal and it's made out of like polymer clay. So I attached that on there. So hey. it's got this little yellow, yellow flowers and kind of this blue like ribbon kind of accented detailing. And it's got 
the vase is like a little pink iridescence. Just the bottom, and it says hand painted by C. Shaper, Shaper, and then like, and then it's got the Fenton mark right there. And how much was this one? And this is gonna be four dollars. You can put in four if you're interested in the little pink Fenton vase. And this is about seven and a half inches tall. Four dollars for Fenton and a creation by Angela. I love it. An upcycled Fenton vase. Mm -hmm. And I mean, and you can even take like a thin ribbon and just tie it around here and do a little bow or just like a little band too if you wanted to cover up that little crack. But they use some kind of industrial <laughs> adhesive. So it's it's sturdy. So four dollars if you're interested in the Fenton vase. And that's it for me. Okay. I'm gonna go super fast. Oh you're fine. Okay. No. As soon it's as yours. I can get you over here. I swear it's like it's lagging, so it's not picking up what we're doing, you know. It's weird. I don't know what to say. Okay, I have this amazing Fosforia dish. Um, this one is going to start at $20. Uh, I did just check it to make sure it doesn't glow because it is an older piece of glass, but I don't see a green glow on it. So this was part of a, a set. It had two lyre, as in the instrument, candle holders that went with it, um, which is kind of why you have this design here. It's, it, it connects with the lyres. Uh, it's all like the same kind of style. I absolutely love this dish. I love, I love everything about it. There is no damage on it that I can see. Oh, Amanda said, seriously, they're the official mental health flower. We believed you, yeah. or at least I did. Yeah. I love irises. I think they're really pretty. Uh, to me, when I first saw this, I was like, oh, I see a Viking ship. <laughs> what I saw when I first picked it up. I was sober, I promise. <laughs> Bottom. So this is big. Um, it is 14 and a half inches long and five inches tall. All of the dogs have decided to come up here, guys, so I do apologize. And wow, I don't know what, what all the excitement is. I'm going to blame it on Thomas, though. Okay. Then my last item is going to be, I just saw it too, this, this is going to start at $8. I have this little um, vintage bag. It is so cute. Ooh, fruit cocktail. There you go, Rose. That sounds really good right now. This is starting um, at 8 At 8 yeah. Thank you, Ange. Mm -hmm. Um, on the inside, there's like the satin um, interior. <laughs> so it's a silver fabric. It is not metal. It's probably coming across as metal. And the top here is metal. I love this closure. Let me open it again. You just kind of put, push it apart there. It's small. So my glasses won't fit into this because I was thinking maybe this is an eyeglass holder or um, a makeup holder, which it maybe is. But I'm just envisioning it as a little purse when you go out. It is six inches long. About six by three.
Okay. I'm going to move on to my add-ons now. Go through these really fast. And Angie, you don't have to put in the, the price on these. Okay. Okay. Item is going to be this really cute handmade um, bag. So this is kind of a long bag. It has dragonflies on it. It's purple. Um, this is going to be three dollars. And if you purchase from me today or you have an open box with me, then you can go ahead and bid. Super super cute. I've had this one for a while. You got it, Rose. Thank you so much. Okay, Thomas. He's going to want you to come uh, install them. You know that, right? Thank you. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, this is so random, but it reminded me of Easter because you've got a bunny there and a frog. Um, this is going to start at or, I'm sorry, it's an add-on. So this is just going to be three dollars. If you're interested in this, this is your little erasers. They're called Craze erasers. But you've got like um, this is kind of like anime looking. I don't really know anything about it. Series two, stop the pencil in its tracks. There's a frog, a bunny, a panda, and a cat. So this is three dollars as well. This I have shown in a sale before. Um, this is going to be five. This is a really, really vintage, cute little um, trinket box, and it is fabric. And I do believe it's Italy or Spain. Not quite sure. So this is five. If anyone is interested in this, it's really pretty. Put your jewelry in there, makeup, whatever. Okay. Let me just have a couple more. Um, this is going to be $4. This is a little uh, trinket dish. This is made by Kaiser. Let me show you the back. Really pretty. Don't know what the flowers are. You got it, Rose. Thank you. It's pretty. Rose, I got your letter today. All right. Let me get this here. Okay. The next up, uh, this is just going to be three dollars. Oh. Hang on. Thomas, whatever. I have this three st <clears throat> strand pearl necklace. Hi, sunshine. You want to say hi? This is $3 as well. Um, it's all costume, and it's pretty. Little layered necklace here. This is $3 as well. There's no marking. Just pretty if you like pearls. <coughs> Okay, I have one last thing if I can reach it. <laughs> cow, I've shown this cow before. Um, he is going to be five dollars. He is from Cow Parade, which was a series of cows, and he's a robot cow or she. <laughs> Fun, a little different. Oh, do you have to stop kidding me, Thomas? If, if you stop, I'll think something's wrong. Yeah, Grumpa. Yeah. And that's it for me. Okay. So for my giveaways, this unicorn that keeps taking off of my shirt. Um, <laughs> have the two owl blacks. So we'll see. We're gonna start with this darker 
wood one and a darker stained one. Um, got this one. And for this, uh, this is for buyers only. And this, um, you put in a number between 10 and 20. So this little wood owl plaque. No rulers, Thomas, you have enough. <laughs> Got like a little heart shaped nose. Somebody needs those. So for Kat, Sabrina, Linda. Sabrina put in the with me. Claimed. Oh, good night, Amanda. Thanks for staying up as long as you did. Thanks, Amanda. Okay, Sabrina's so the only one that put in a number, so she get that surprise. Oh, Linda did. It's not coming up. I, I think you, there's something wrong with StreamYard, I think. I'm watching it on YouTube. You know what, well... So the number was 16. So Sabrina was closest. So I'll give her that one. And then Linda, were you interested in this one? Because Kat has one for me too from this set. So if you're interested in this one, Sabrina can have the other one. I'll give you this one. And then each of us will have a little owl. Yeah. And I can add it to your package. Bye, Thomas. Enjoy your dinner. All right, so Linda, I'll send this with your pens. And Sabrina will get this one with her packages. Her package. And then I'm all done. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Okay. I'm just going to do one giveaway really quick. Um, I have, ooh, I have another trinket dish. This one is Japan, and it has these roses on it. I think they're roses. Gold trim. Um, if you're interested in this, um, ooh, I, I don't have a number ready. Um, put dish, and then I'll do a drawing. Sorry if I'm making it confusing. <laughs> Um, type in dish if you're interested in this. This is a zero dollar giveaway. Awesome. Carrie and Brown. Of course, we mentioned it, but if anybody's watching this back and you see items that haven't sold, please email us. Yes. She said she'll pass on it. Please keep it, Angela. Linda. <laughs> She's well, so funny. I have okay. a ton of jewelry that someone sent me, so I will find something to gift you. Would you rather have, rather have something for yourself or for your granddaughters with the pens? Okay. I saw who was first. Karen was first, so Karen will be number one. I need to make new numbers. And Rose is number two. And so what I'm going to do is just draw them out of this dish. <laughs> number two. Congrats, Rose. Thank you. Karen, I got your info, so thank you very much. And Angie, that's it for me. 
Okay. Well, thanks everybody for tuning in. Yes. And make sure you're subscribed to Cat. I'm sure I've, most of you already are. I can tell just because we see you in the chat. But um, make sure you are. If you aren't, make sure you hit a thumbs up before you go. And make sure you're subscribed. I'm almost to 800. I think I have like 20 or so left. So, and then Cat. I think you're on your way to 900. I'm almost to 900. So yeah. Make sure you're subscribed and thank you again. And we will see you around YouTube. Thanks, everyone. Bye. I'm so sorry about my issues, technical issues today. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Ange. Of course.